Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is your mid-October to mid-November tarot reading. Please bear in mind that this is a general tarot reading for the whole of the Sagittarian Collective. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your moon, Venus and rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, then you can find the links to private readings in the description box directly below this video. And currently I've got a sale going on on private readings. You can now purchase a private reading from me for only £25. And that offer is a limited offer and it will expire on the 30th of November. And just a quick reminder to you all, please don't forget to hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel i would love to get more sagittarius energy into my channel so thank you also if you'd like to consider offering a donation towards this reading no matter what amount i would be very grateful thank you so i'm going to jump straight into your reading sagittarius and i'm using the everyday witch tarot the romance angels and the secret language of color cards so the first card out for you is the Five of Swords. Then you have a major arcana card, the Chariot card. So you could be dealing with Cancer. Got the Queen of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. Another major arcana card, the sun. That's Leo NG. You could be dealing with a Leo. Then you have the Knight of Cups. And the Six of Wands. So let's find out what's going on. So I think um, in your recent past, for some of you, there may have been a lot of conflict, a lot of arguing. Um, I'm actually going to put a clarifier on this now. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel that this has all taken place with someone from your past, um, past relationship, which I feel that this person broke your heart. Um, there may still be conflict around you concerning this person. They may be bringing the conflict into your life. I feel that with the Five of Swords coming up, I feel that this is not really a permanent situation that you're in. I feel that I feel that this will be sorted i feel that you although this person broke your heart i feel that this situation for some of you is definitely played out to some degree actually let's go on to the next card yeah because you're moving on you're really you're really ready to move on you know and clarifying this is the strength card which is leo energy so yeah you it's been painful, a painful journey. It's been the hardest thing that you've ever had to do, you know, to move on. But you've got the strength. You have found the strength in you to move on and put the past behind you. Um, for some of you, I do sense that this person may be in your energy, uh, maybe still causing some problems. Yeah, it's definitely someone who broke your heart, but some of you definitely are able to move on from this as painful as it was you found strength and you moved on or well, you're ready to move on i see because you're putting yourself first you know you you've been loving loyal supportive um you know you've shown a lot of love and i think an understanding and 
you know you've given your all i feel in a past relationship and now it's time to pull that back into you it was wasted on this person and i feel that you're really focusing on your needs you know you're focusing on you you're having some time out for a little while i feel that you may be treating yourself pampering yourself um some of you may decide to go on a holiday uh have some time away um some of you may be treating yourself to a whole new wardrobe, wanting to completely change your whole style, your appearance. Um, I definitely see you uh, treating yourself um, to something here. Um, definitely see a holiday. Definitely, yeah, you're going to take some time out for yourself because you're work. You, you know, you're working on yourself. You know, you're trying to improve, you, you know, a lot of areas of your life. Um, you know, it's all part of getting that balance and equilibrium and harmony back in your life. You know, with, uh, having that feeling within you, you know, feeling at peace, feeling calm, feeling happy and fulfilled. Um, I would say that you are probably enjoying having this time to yourself um, and really I think you are discovering um, a lot of new things about yourself, um, discovering that you are a strong person, that you have the ability to get through the work, you know, really hard things, that you have the ability to change things you don't like. Um, and I think you are really focusing on, you know, pursuing some of your own goals and passions here. I feel that for some of you, definitely, um, you're, there is luck. There is a change in your luck here. Uh, you've got some good luck coming to you. Um, come, some of you, it could be a win in a game of chance here. Some of you, you may have an opportunity here, a job opportunity, um, a chance to change your career. Um, this is a new start, something coming to you, uh, towards you, something given to you, something coming to you, something that you're getting that is really going to help. I feel with finances, actually. Um, it's going to help improve your financial situation. Um, and for some of you, again, I see travel on the cards. I see highlighted quite strongly in your reading. I feel that some of you are definitely wanting to do a, a lot of traveling. Um, yeah. I'm going to clarify some cards. I think actually I won't. I I think I'll wait to do more clarifying because I'll go. I'm going on to the sun. Um, this is happiness. This is joy. This is expansion. This is growth. I think this is personal growth for you. I feel that you really are learning a lot more about yourself. I feel that you you're going to get into this happy place where you're very happy with what you've achieved. You know what you've overcome you know the difficulties you've overcome i feel that you may be meeting up with friends getting out there putting that fun and joy back into your life there's a, a lot of fun and joy in store for you here i see you out having fun letting your hair down meeting up with friends some of you may even be going on holiday with friends uh, this is happiness, this is joy, this is fulfilment. Might also have something maybe related to um, new love coming in as well. And boy, yeah, this is, I'm going to clarify this because I'm getting quite, yeah, this is quite an action taker. This person's coming in, this person's going to show you a lot of love. Who's coming in for you though? It could be this King of Wands. It could be someone you meet while on your while on holiday, while traveling. 
it may not necessarily be while traveling it could be where you live but i i also see the possibility of meeting this person while on holiday it's someone definitely that is well very much an action taker i see a lot of adventure connected with this person i see this this person really loves to travel um <laughs> This person's got quite a personality, um, very interesting person. Um, your love life is definitely going to go up a gear, I'd say, with this person. Um, this person's definitely an action taker. This person's not going to mess around. Let's find out more about this person. Another, yeah, this person's really balanced, harmonious, um, I feel that this is going to be for both of you actually this is a wish come true really um for them as well as you um this is someone who's really balanced um i feel spiritual quite spiritual perhaps there's something about this spirituality with this person um kind of like free-spirited in a way this could be an aquarium that's coming in for you if it's a stars aquarius energy and then you've got the moon here which is pisces energy someone who's highly intuitive i would say um really listens to their intuition definitely um has a lot of hopes and dreams this person um yeah, very highly intuitive, I'd say. It could be a Pisces. We've got the High Priestess. Like I said, this person has an extremely high intuition. Um, you know, you could also be dealing with... Because um, this is moon energy, so it could be a Cancer or a Virgo. I've got a Pisces. I've got an Aquarius here. You know, you've also got the sun here, which is Leo. And yeah, Leo is coming up quite strongly as well. But this person's really highly intuitive. Um, they got a good feeling about you. I can tell you that now. And um, they, de they definitely follow their intuition. Because it's, you know, I would say this person may have psychic abilities. They're very highly intuitive. And this is... You're going to, this, this is progress being made in your life with the Six of Wands. Um, this is you getting attention, getting recognition, being recognised for the gifts, for your talents, um, for who you are. You know, this is you. You celebrate you as well. Celebrate you coming through the worst, you know. Um, I feel that some of you may be getting noticed in your profession as well i feel that that's gonna take off yeah i feel someone's gonna notice you and want to yeah i feel there's a big promotion or something on the car someone's gonna really notice you your talents and your skill this also can speak about this romance that's coming in for someone you know you are center stage you you are in the spotlight as far as they're concerned they are going to adore you they're going to spoil you um you, you're not going to have a boring life with this person this person's definitely an action taker and um you're going to be in the spotlight let's clarify this card for you yeah for ones here this is security stability could be a celebration on the cards like i said there is a lot of fun and joy here you're having a lot of fun you're letting your hair down I'd say that um, you, you're going to have a lot of fun together with this person. Um, life, like I said, is not going to be boring. Your love life is definitely going up a gear, <laughs> I tell you. Um, there could be a celebration on the cards here. Further down the line, there could be a high level of commitment. There could be an engagement. There could be news or celebrations, I think, for some of you. Like I said, you're being really noticed in regards to your career. Someone's definitely going to spot your talent and want to propel you to higher position perhaps within the workplace here i see 
definitely movement in your career something that's really going to benefit you um because i feel that someone's going to notice this is a card of celebration of happiness of joy of stability of security beautiful so let's get you out some romance angels i love this reading for you sagittarius it's beautiful god I'll tell you something, you've got such a colourful character coming into your life here. This person really has a real spirit of adventure. They, they love to have adventures. And this person also, like I said, is extremely highly intuitive. So you've got, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, you're freeing yourself from your past pain here. You've, you've been, you're strong, you can move on. Put yourself first soulmate yes this is your soulmate so this person coming in could very much be a soulmate coming in for some of you also got wedding this situation involves a marriage so like i said there could be a high level of commitment further down the line so whoever's coming in is, is someone that is definitely wanting a commitment with you further down the line let's get you out of some the um Secret language of colour cards. Find out what lucky colours you've got and what they mean. Okay, so you've got starting up with J, take action. You are taking action, I believe, and someone's taking action towards you. So jade is a very lucky colour for you, beautiful colour. Maybe wear something jade or get out and about in nature got red here for yourself from pain again you know you are freeing yourself from this pain it's not easy it's not been easy it's been a painful process but i would say red can help you through that process if you're still going through it so that's another color for you because i've got blue activate your healing power yeah blue can help you heal from your past pain but i, I kind of feel you will looks everything looks so positive in your reading and you've also got apricot rejoice and laugh yeah that was highlighted a lot in your reading yeah you're going to be having a lot of fun a lot of laughter a lot of joy there's going to be a lot of happiness so four colors for you are jade red blue and apricot absolutely love it so that was your reading sagittarius before you go please don't forget to hit the subscribe button good luck with everything and i'll see you soon Bye.